Welcome to Morning Reflections brought to you by RaisingDreamersMinistries.org. My name is Doris Collier and I'm here to talk to you today about time for others. Years ago, a Southwestern Baptist Seminary professor, Oscar Thompson, said, the most important word in the dictionary is relationship. He explained that you can't love someone until you form a relationship with them. He talked about all of our lives, we should seek who God would bring into our lives to make these relationships. All throughout the life of Jesus, we can see how he made time for others. Jesus was never too busy to be there for others. One time, Jesus was really busy and he stopped what he was doing to go take care of a little 12 year old girl. We know her as Jairus' daughter. And that same Jesus, the God of the universe, still makes time for us. Someone once said, we make time for what's most important for us. Love is so powerful. Love has the power to lead someone to Christ. Love has the power to heal a broken heart. Love has the power to, to help someone on the path to restore them to a relationship with God. It's worth your time to help others. So do that today. In James 2, verse 21, it says, Faith apart from works is dead. Helping others is an action word. This week, we need to ask ourselves, who can we make that time for? Who can we go and help, even if it doesn't fit into our schedule? Maybe someone is sitting next to you at work and they need you to listen to them. In James 1, 21, it says, we are to be doers of the word, not hearers only. Being a doer is an action word. <clears throat> it requires effort on our part. Remember, life and love are both in action. I challenge you today to take those, to ask God who he can bring into your life to make them um, aware of his love. Always remember, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Now go help someone today.